What is population aging exactly? Population aging refers to the demographic phenomenon where the proportion of older people in a population increases over time. In 2020, the number of people aged 60 years and older outnumbered children younger than five years. Between 2015 and 2050, the proportion of the world's population over 60 years will nearly double from 12% to 22%. By 2050, there will be 2.1 billion people over 60 years old. Let's focus in on three pivotal areas influenced by population aging. One. Demographic change. Demographic change affects all spheres of life, families, communities, economies, shaping how they produce, consume and distribute resources. The situation is highly diverse. The majority of older individuals are women. With a declining proportion of children over time, the 60 years and older age group is growing. But the most substantial increase is seen in those aged 80 and above. Centenarians will become increasingly common. Total fertility rates A key determination of population indicates a global trend of declining birth rates alongside increased longevity. A little over 60% of the global population live now in countries with a total fertility rate below replacement rates. For example, the median age in Germany or in Sweden is 48 years old, whereas in Nigeria or Senegal it is around 18 years old. A typical farmer in Korea and China is now over 50 years old, and in Japan, it's well over 60 years old. 2. Social and economic implications Population aging has far-reaching effects on economies, societies, cultures and social behaviours. Families are shrinking, raising questions about caregiving for the elderly. One young couple is likely to have four parents and potentially up to eight grandparents. As more people live longer, the demand for healthcare changes from infectious diseases to chronic illnesses which cannot be cured but can be managed, prevented or delayed. Older women live longer than men and have specific needs. In many contexts, the rights of older women are being denied, creating a source of injustice. As the working age population decreases, there's a simultaneous rise in demand for pensions and social protection. Increased demands from older generations may strain relationships with younger generations, who may feel burdened by these changes, affecting the intergenerational compact. 3. Adapting to population aging requires political will, long-term perspectives and systemic approaches. Now societies must adapt to a different demographic configuration. The question is not whether to adapt or not to adapt, but how to adapt. The key lies in changing the narrative of aging a challenge that could be met in the scope of rights of older people and of all generations. Categorical definitions of old age are becoming obsolete. The focus should shift towards the years ahead rather than the years lived. Older people should be seen as a resource, not a burden. This requires a redesign of societies with holistic and systemic strategies, considering population aging in national development plans, reinvigorated communities, lifelong learning in practice, intergenerational collaboration in communities, workplaces, learning centres, short-term action with a longer-term perspective.